Hi guys, Oshinoa here, bringing you free tutorials on how to make a website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your Astra theme. Okay, let's get into it. So now we're going to look at how to customize your theme. So this will affect the look and feel of your website. So we have a few essential changes that we need to make and we'll run through the essential ones. There are lots of other settings you can adjust and this is for the Astra theme. Each theme will have their specific settings you can adjust. So on the left hand side, you've got the extra settings and on the right hand side, it's a live preview of the changes you make. You can also see the blue pencils. So if you click on the blue pencil, it will take you directly to where the relevant changes need to be made. So here you can see it's brought us straight to the site title, which is always in yoga. So we can choose to display the logo instead of the site title, just like Apple do over here. They don't have their site title here, they've got their logo. So if we want to add a logo, we find our logo and we upload it into our media library. So you can find it on your computer and upload it. Then you want to have your title and you want to have your alt text as well. So what I like to do is have them as the same. So these will help with your search engine results. So once you have it, you can skip cropping and it should appear. As you can see, it's huge. So again, if we click on it, we can now see that we don't want our site title to display. So we can uncheck this box and therefore it's just the logo displaying. So going back up to the logo, we can adjust the logo width. So you can adjust it down to a size that works well for your site. So that looks pretty neat there, which is great. You can also add a different logo for Retina devices. So this would be if you want to have a higher quality logo on higher quality retina screens and you can also have different logos for your mobile devices so you can look at the mobile preview by selecting this icon here so you've got your desktop your tablet and your mobile and again you can adjust the width here as well so to find a width that works so you want to have our menu button here and our logo displaying on the same line so that looks pretty neat. So then we can go back to the desktop view. And it's just the case of doing the same process, selecting the image for each of those. Then you can also add a site icon. And a site icon is what will display up here. You can see on the Apple one, they have their Apple logo. So it's just the case of making a fav icon, which is another name for them and uploading it to your media library and giving it a name and putting it in your alt text as well. Select, skip cropping, and there you go. You have your site icon uploaded as well. And that is all that we want to do for this section. Then we want to go to, let's go to the primary header. You can see here that this is the primary header up here. Okay, so you can adjust the layout of it. So you can have your logo on top and your menu on the bottom, or you can have the menu on the left, the logo on the right. But what most sites are nowadays, is the logo on the left and the menu on the right, just like with Apple. Logo on the left, menu on the right. Then you can adjust that width as well. So you can do it to the full width, which will stretch it to the full width of the screen, or to the content width, which will keep it boxed in with the content. Okay, so then you can have a bottom border as well. So you can adjust that size and you can give it a different color if you'd like. So if you make it red, you can see the red coming along there. We're just going to clear that. And then on your mobile device, we can see what it looks like. You could choose to have your layout again 
as differently. So we're just going to go back, we're going to go back to a desktop view as well. And if we go into primary menu, so in the primary menu, we can disable our menu if we'd like, which we'll turn it off. And we can also add in a last item in the menu. So we could put in a button and and this button you can adjust the text in it so you can say yoga and you can have a different link in it so you can link to a different part of your website by putting in the url here so if we want to just go to our contact page for instance we could just do oh is in yoga forward slash contact because we know that when we made our contact page contact was our permalink so the title of our site so then you can also adjust the style of the button and customize it then for our mobile menu we're going to first go to the mobile view and we can add a label to it. So sometimes this button to select the menu can be a bit small for your thumb. So we can add in menu to make it a bit easier for your people to select. So again, we're going to need to adjust our logo size width to make the menu bar go in line. So you can find how that works for you. And then we can go back to the primary menu and we can change the color of this to black to go with the theme. So there we go. Now we're going to look at the container. So if we go into global and we go to container, We'll go back to our desktop view. You can see the width is set to 1200. So that's the width of the content. So that means the content won't be the full width of the screen. It will only go to 1200 pixels. Okay. So if we reduce this down, you might be able to see that the content will move inwards, as you can see there. So we want to set our content to 1140. That's the one that I like to use. And I feel that's a, a really neat layout. Then our layout, we want our layout to be full width contained. As you can see, it was content boxed, which gave it this boxed view within this white box. You have the gray background, but I don't like to use that. Full width contained means that the content will be contained within this 1140 pixels but that the background will be the full width of the screen. Then also the page layout. At the moment, you've got this, you want to have your full width contained, but then for your blog posts and you want to have your content to be boxed. And boxed here as well. So then if we go to our sidebar, we can get rid of this sidebar over here. So the default layout, we want to change that to no sidebar. So as you can see, the sidebar has disappeared now. But for our blog posts, we want to have a right sidebar and for our archives we want to have a right sidebar as well so there we are so we go back to our footer we go down to the footer bar the footer is this area here you can also get this by just clicking on this pencil and you can have different sections so we're just going to keep it as the text for the moment you can keep your copyright your copyright symbol current year and site title. I'm going to delete this powered by section 
and there you go. If your site title, you don't want to display that, you can just type it in manually either. But we're just going to leave it as the default current year and site title. These will change. So this will change. The current year will change when the year changes. And the site title will change when you adjust the site title. Okay. And you can also add in another section. But we're going to leave it like this for the moment. And you want to click publish when that's done. I'm going to X out. And you'll be able to see your site with the changes implemented. And there you go. Looking much neater at the moment and ready for the next step. This video is part of my series of free tutorials on how to make a website. To make sure you don't miss out on any videos, hit the subscribe button and turn that bell icon to all. That will mean you'll get a notification every time I publish a video on YouTube. See you in the next video and happy building.